let t be the matrix transformation t of x equals ax with the given matrix A. Notice matrix A is a three by three matrix and therefore we know we have a transformation from R3 to R3. We're asked to find the kernel of T. The kernel of T, or the kernel of the transformation, is the set of all input vectors X and Rn such that T of vector X equals the zero vector. So we're looking for the set of input vectors where the images under the transformation are equal to the zero vector. We can take a couple of approaches to this problem Let's start by determining t of vector x equals matrix A times vector x for any generic vector x in R3. So t of vector x is equal to matrix A times any vector x in R3, which would be the vector x1, x2, x3. And now let's find the product. Multiplying row one by the column matrix, notice how we just get zero. Multiplying the second row by the column matrix, we get x2. Multiplying the third row by the column matrix, we get x3. Notice the transformation matrix sends the first component of every vector in R3 to zero. And again, because we're looking for the kernel of t, we know this must equal the zero vector in R3, which is the vector zero, zero, zero. From here, notice x2 must be zero, x3 must be zero, and since the transformation sends x1 to zero, x1 is a free variable and can be any real number, let's parameterize the solution and let x1 equal t. Again, x1 can be any value because the transformation matrix sends the x1 component to zero, which means all the vectors x that satisfy the equation t of vector x equals the zero vector must be in the form of t zero zero or if we factor out the t, we have t times the vector one, zero, zero, which means the kernel of t is equal to all these scalar multiples of the vector one, zero, zero, and the vector one, zero, zero lies on the x-axis, and therefore the kernel of t is equal to the x-axis. The more formal way to solve this problem would be to set up the equation, matrix A times vector x equals a zero vector, write an augmented matrix, and then write the augmented matrix in reduced show echelon form. The vectors in the spanning set form a basis for the kernel of T or the null space of matrix A. So let's also show that. If we set up the equation matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector, the augmented matrix looking above would be zero, 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 zero for the first row. The second row would be zero, one, zero, zero. The third row would be zero, zero, one, zero. And we can easily write this in reduced row echelon form by interchanging rows. The first row would be zero, one, zero, zero. The second row would be zero, zero, one, zero. The third row would be a row of zeros. And we know the variables are x1, x2, and x3. Notice there's no pivot in column one, which indicates x1 is a free variable. And the first row indicates that x2 is equal to zero. The second row indicates x3 is equal to zero. And again, because x1 is a free variable, x1 equals x1. Or if we want to parameterize the solution like we did above, we let x1 equal t, where t is any real number. And notice how we get the same result we did above for the kernel of t. I hope you found this helpful.